Hey Projector, I hope you're feeling fine and I hope that you don't get stuck or are stuck in the never-ending hustle and bustle and grinding because, you know, we're not here to do that. We're not here to always give everything away for free because Do you have the energy? Do you really have the energy to do this every day? I guess not. And if you say yes, I guess you're lying to yourself. To make it clear, every projector has an open sacral. And that means we don't have the consistent energy to generate or post every day, all the time, straight on, 24-7, all this deep stuff we have inside of us, all of this beautiful teaching and lecturing and perspective sharing. You know, I mean, it maybe sounds hypocrite because I do that. Because it's very hard to get out of this behavior. It's very hard to let go of this. It's very hard to just trust and have the faith to jump into the darkness, into the nothingness where something is waiting for you. And you know, what's waiting for you is success. Successful for who you are and not for what you do. And I really want you to understand that. I really want me to understand it even better and more. And I want us to live it, to be this leading capacity of the world that the world really needs right now, right now, not someday, now. The world needs awakened projectors right now who guide, who don't work, who are not exhausted all the time, who don't beg and whine and, you know, always go for stuff because they try to prove or they think they need to commit to be something to get somewhere let's do it together you know let's do a week of don't post anything and people should invite me and i know it's hard because i guess most of the people most of the people who follow you they won't invite you they just enjoying the stuff you post and they don't pay a dime for it Because why should they? We're living in this society of where everything should be free and where we have so much consuming all the time. You know, I know it from my own life. You know, I go on YouTube and I watch something and I don't care who this is. I just watch it and learn something. Ta-da! Did I pay something? No. I sometimes do. I really, when I have this feeling of, okay, I really want to give something, I do this. And I love to give. And I have this strange perspective of, yeah, knowledge. <sighs> knowledge should be free, I know. Healing should be free, I know. But we cannot force it to be free. We cannot establish it in a world that's not based on this principle. We need to wait until the world is ready for such a creative, mutative foundation of how we treat each other and how we interact with each other and that it's all based on respect and recognition and until then we really need to slow down because otherwise we are the ones who make everything faster and more struggle and you know because we have these open centers we have this open sacral that makes it even harder for others to compete and then we are stuck in this never-ending competition with our open egos. Not everybody, but most of us. So that would be my wish and I hope you understand that. I hope you see your uniqueness. My desire is that the projector only acts when he's invited and until then just is relaxed study life, study all of this beautiful stuff and holds it in until the day where the invitation comes and 
then we puke it out with all of our uniqueness and our very precise, focused, absorbing aura. Yeah. <laughs> 